and welcome to your Daily Five. I am your host, Michelle Schneider, Director of Trading Education Research at Market Gauge. And today I want to cover with you 3D printing. It's been a very hot topic. Uh, DDD is a position that we've been in for quite some time as the market is actually red. DDD is the day I'm talking to you is making new highs, multi-month highs, that is. And there's a bunch of other stocks in that space. Now, of course, ambitiously, I've got 10 instruments to show you in the 10 minutes. So let's get started. I just wanted to let you know these are the stocks that I'm covering. Uh, I'm not going to mention their names because you're going to get to see them in a moment as I go to the stock charts platform. Okay, so let's start with desktop metal. They're actually, every one of these stocks is getting involved in the 3D business. Yes, of course, you have your granddaddy like 3D systems and SSYS, uh, but nonetheless, this one came up and I think it looks pretty interesting. If we take a look, always start with the momentum. We have the high momentum at the high price here up at 25. And so even though, we made a new high, the momentum has not made a new high, but it's holding. And of course the market right uh, now on a Friday when I'm talking to you is a little bit under pressure, but what's interesting here is we're getting an inside day. And of course you can see it's over achieving here against the SPY. So what I would do with this one right now is I'd be keeping 2250 in my mind. And after an inside day, you can buy it through the high of the outside day through 2544. So that would give you just under a $2 risk uh, and see if this can, thing can move up higher. But this whole space looks very promising. Obviously, always be wary of the fact that if the whole market corrects, everything generally corrects. Even if this is uh, counterperforming the market in one day, it doesn't mean on a general big correction, everything can hold up. Okay, the next one is PRLB, and it says industrial machinery, but they too are getting involved in the 3D space. And once again, you can see that there is no divergence as the momentum met the high up here, which was higher than the current high. So the momentum is doing okay. And right now it is getting a little bit of a dip. And this too is having an inside day as I'm talking to you on Friday. And so if it holds up the low that we had here at 186.47, you could kind of take a look at it if it takes out this 200, particularly if it closes there. Otherwise, I'd be looking for a dip closer to around 175. The next one is MTLS. <clears throat> And MTLS is another one in the technology software space getting into 3D. This chart's a little sloppier to me. And then again, look here that the momentum is also a little sloppier. So I'd keep an eye on this one and see if it can hold up around 60. At these levels, I would be more inclined to buy the dip than I would be looking at the strength, given the fact that the momentum and also the uh, leadership quality is starting to deteriorate. Now let's get to my granddaddy. Of course, this is 3D printing, 3D systems, and this is the one that's going berserk today. This one, uh, Kathy Wood, boy, when she says something, everybody gets in. We were actually long from $6, and I think I might have pointed this out to you uh, a while back on when I've done my third. 30 minute stock charts. But anyway, here we are. Would I be chasing it here today? Not necessarily. I liked the dip to 30. I was hoping to see a dip closer to 20. That didn't happen. So at this point now, if you were going to try to get involved, I think you have to use like 20. 827 as your wall of support to as a risk. And of course, at this point now, I would probably take a look and see what happens uh, next week rather than chase it later than day on a Friday. The next one is SSYS. This is the other big one. And this too started to look like it was going to take out the highs. And now, of course, it's stalling underneath it. Really, you want to see this get through this high here of 37.13 and even 36.95. So 36.95 to 37.13 is the area that must clear. And then it really needs to hold on to about 34.35. Otherwise, again, some kind of dip closer to around that 28 would be good. You could see the momentum still looks strong, as does the performance. The next one is actually the ETF for 3D printing, and that's PRNT. And you can see this 
too looks very similar to what I just showed you with um, with SSYS. We are getting ah, no, not an inside day because this low is lower than the day before. But nonetheless, we're getting some consolidation. So again, you have to look for a risk point. And here, 38 would be the risk point. Probably at this point, 40 would be the number to have to clear. Next one is Xerox, an old company that is actually also getting into the 3D printing space. However, not doing nearly as well for other reasons than their 3D printing. Nonetheless, we are getting a good dip. The momentum, of course, has come off. And you can see it's below the Bollinger Band. So if it starts to get back over that Bollinger Band, that would be a good sign, particularly if you can find a good level of support. In this case, the level of support would be somewhere between 19 50 and 2050. And then at this point now, if I wanted to see for some, look at that, just popped up as I'm talking to you. If it had a close, let's say over 2120, then that might be a good opportunity to get in and see if we can get back up to that 50 day moving average. Next one is uh, hemorrhage and pain. Believe it or not, this too is in the 3D printing space. <clears throat> and this one may be the cleanest technical chart I'm showing you today because it just corrected down to the 50, as had the momentum. It hasn't broken down under the 50. If it continues to hold the 50, let's say, into next week, early next week, right out of the gate, you have a great risk under 2350. And you can buy it uh, if it holds that into Monday and see if you can't get some momentum to the upside. And of course, remember, I've been telling you, uh, as I did on my my normal stock charts, that we have to be wary, of course, of earnings season. XONE, this one has gone straight up. This is another great 3D printing space. But I feel in this one, we've kind of missed the boat here a little bit. So again, any kind of correction in the market <clears throat> would be a great opportunity to get into this space. Somewhere probably between 1650 and 1750 is what I would be looking at at this point on a dip. So I wouldn't touch this here. The point is, is that this is a hot sector. Corrections are good opportunities to buy, chasing strength, make sure you watch your macro, watch your earnings dates. And that's it for now. So take care. Have a good weekend. Thanks so much. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below. Maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're going to bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.